In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Radar by the great Link Ray. And I do like returning to Link Ray from time to time on this channel. I've looked at a few of his songs previously. And it's raw, it's primitive, it's basic, it's exciting. And it's certainly not about chops or technique or having amazing tone and taste. And at times where I feel like I'm getting too analytical about the guitar and prioritizing unimportant things then it's good to just bash out a link ray tune or two i think so let's get started i'm going to play through the tune for you and then i'll show you how it's done <laughs> So there we are, what a great piece of music this is. And it's a really fun one to play as well. Now, I've just been trying to do a little bit of research on this one, just so I can bring you some background information on the track. But there's actually surprisingly little information out there on this specific track. And you can hear it in all kinds of different places. It appears on various albums, but a lot of Link Ray albums are actually just various tracks cobbled together from different periods and it's quite hard to know exactly what's what. There are several versions of this tune I think and there are some live recordings as well but there's one recording which seems to be more well known than the others and my feeling is that it was probably recorded in the early 60s as part of some sessions for Epic Records but if anyone's got some definite information on that then I'd be interested to know. But without any further ado let me show you how it's played. Just a brief word on the tuning before we go any further. And for this one, Link Ray is tuned down. His whole guitar is tuned down a tone or a whole step. So the notes would be D, G, C, F, A and D. That's how I played it in my little demo at the start of this video. And if you want to play along to the original or if you want to play along to my backing track, that's what you're going to need to do. But just for convenience, as I'm showing this to you now, I'm going to be in standard tuning and I'm going to describe the chords and the notes to you in standard tuning just to save you people the hassle of having to retune. So hope that's clear. Let's get into the opening riff. So it goes like this. <laughs> Key of A, you just need to know two chord shapes here, just an open A chord and a C chord, and we're just connecting those chords together with some twangy single notes. So we're starting with this, so E, F sharp, G sharp, all on the low E string, 
right. Then we're heading to the A chord and we're just playing the root note of the A chord and then we're strumming the higher part of that chord. And I'm strumming that down, up, up, down. So root note, down, up, up, down. And then we're going to C and we're playing again the root note and then the top part of the chord and then a pair of single notes. I've got a D and then a C, which I'm just pulling down a little bit just to bend it slightly sharp. So I'm playing the D at the fifth fret on the A string and the C at the third fret on the A string. And you've got a choice of playing that D as an open string as well. I'm not exactly sure how Link Ray would have done it. I couldn't see any live footage, but whether you play it there or there, it's the same note. It just flows slightly better for me if I play that D at the fifth fret on the A string, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Like that, or... Or like that. So let me put that together. Really just repeats. And it's got a nice swing to it, this whole riff. So you want to keep your right hand just swinging a little bit. Sometimes there are extra little grace notes or double notes in there as well. The occasional open string is just a, a nice touch, just little, almost little ghost notes on the open strings. And then we've got a little secondary riff which goes like this. So nice and simple this one, we're over onto the A string now. Open string, second fret, and fourth fret. And again, you might sometimes be double picking or adding in some extra open strings. Then we're going to D7. And he might actually have the high E string open for this chord. Um, I think I can hear that coming through. So it's up to you whether you want to play D7 like that or like that, but both of those are going to work. And then we're going to C. And it's the same as in the first riff, we've got the root note and then the strum. And then back to A. So that's riff two. And then we're back to the main riff again. And there's a stop and then we're into the first little guitar break or guitar solo which goes like this. So fantastic, typical link ray, very simple but really effective and really powerful. So we're just using double stops on the top two strings. I'm starting here, so it's 13 and 12, going down to 10 and 10. And this is played over a D chord, over the harmony of the four chord, and I suppose you could think it's kind of D minor pentatonic or a mixture of D minor and major pentatonic. And we've got a triplet rhythm here. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and triplet. And then we're just moving that same idea down to the fifth position. Back up again. And 
then we've got this descending. So this is outlining the five chord E and he's just coming down the E minor pentatonic much as he does in rumble. So, so just straight down the minor pentatonic scale. Maybe giving some of those notes a little bit of a bend. Then we're into the second half of the tune and it repeats but the riff is changed slightly so the main riff is actually simplified slightly and instead of doing that root note and strum thing we're just strumming the chords and letting them hang so we've got so we're leading into that the same way then we're strumming an A and C and then we're strumming a D chord and again like in rumble I think he's often leaving the top string open in that D chord so technically we've got a D sus2 there back to C and A And just like in the first half of the tune we've got a little variation on the riff a kind of B riff same chords but we're letting the chords hang this time so D7 or D7 with the open top string C and then A and then back to the first riff Then we're into another little guitar break and again this is classic Link Gray. We've got a nice bit of frenzied tremolo picking here. So. so you could think of these as A and D bar chords I think though I'm only really hearing the top three or four strings. So I'm actually playing partial bar chord shapes here so Starting with the A shape, this is frets 7, 6, 5, 5 on the top four strings. And we're setting up, loosely it's kind of a 16th note rhythm, so quite fast with your picking hands. So just stay nice and relaxed with that. And then straight away we're moving up to the 10th position to fit the D chord. And occasionally we're just going down by one fret just to approach the D chord. And then doing the same thing with the A chord, so just approaching from one fret below. And up again. And then we've got the same descending E minor pentatonic thing that we had before. And then into the main riff for a final time. stopping on the A chord. So fantastic tune, pretty easy to play but important not to kind of take it for granted and to get too kind of blasé about the simplicity of it. I actually find that sometimes with this simple stuff it's actually quite difficult to do it really well so see how good you can get this tune, really get everything swinging in in time, get those single notes really popping out and twanging and it's more challenging than you might think to play it as well as Link Ray does. For those of you interested in the gear that I'm using today, the guitar is my Trent Model 1. Still really enjoying playing this guitar. I think it works really well for these kind of 60s twangy rock and roll style things. It works well for most styles of music, but it's got a nice bite to it and a little bit of an edge, which I think you need with the Link Ray stuff. So that's the guitar. And then the amp I'm using today is my AC30. And I'm using just one pedal and that is the small speaker overdrive from Great Eastern Effects. 
So that's it for this video. I hope some of you will have some fun learning to play this one. If you are a member of my Patreon page, the tab and backing track is going to be up there. If you're not a member, you can sign up and pay whatever you like per month and get access to this tab and many, many others. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.